so we're parked up. Uh, we're going to head down to the tunnel now. It's just down here, so we uh, see at the tunnel now. Yeah. So, apparently this is the way down. So we're uh, going to ask the stone bridge here for the road crossing. And I think the tunnel's underneath us. So, uh, is that way, is it? Yeah. So they've got in tunnel. We've done a couple of times, but not by us. So, uh, here we go. The Trans Pennine Trail up. Got some buildings down there. Uh, anyway, let's get down to track level. Absolutely beautiful autumn day today. Nice and mild. Great day for it. So we're now on the uh, the track bed, the Sheffield Aston Underline and Manchester Railway. It's run between Manchester Store Street and Sheffield. So if I can find online about it. Uh, we'll probably uh, pick up a bit more history later on, but uh, for now, let's get down to this tunnel. I'm well, coming up to that overbridge now that uh, we just crossed. Again, I'm keeping with this area, it's like uh, uh, Queensby Land of the week, everything built in stone. Look, a little uh, bit of a change of pace to the blue brick stuff we used to. Yeah. Definitely been repaired though down the years, look at that. <laughs> See Thurgoland Tunnel just ahead. So here we are, we're at the portal for the original tunnel. No wing walls, not required due to the rock over either side. But uh, another beautiful strange stone structure. Happy days. So here we are at uh, Thurgood and New Tunnel, which carried the upline. So you can see here, look, there's two capping stones at the top. There's LNER under the North Eastern Railway 1947 and British Railways 1948. Now, uh, what I could find out, something to do with a. Uh, Let's have a quick look. I'm, I might say I'm reading this off Wikipedia for you. So, uh, because of clearance problems, the original construction caused for the planned LNER electrification, and because opening out was deemed too expensive, in 1948, a second single line tunnel was built for the upline, and the old tunnel was converted to carry only the downline. As this project was begun in 1947, just before railway nationalisation, each of the tunnel portals hosts twin dates. There we go. Sounds like we've got a party of joggers coming through here. Listen to the acoustics in this tunnel. Sounds like a station announcement system, doesn't it? We're going to wait for him to come out before we do the walkthrough, guys. So uh, we'll listen to that. Check that out. Uh, before we do the walkthrough, this is where they uh, hung the catenary for the electrical cables for the trains. Right, see you at the other end. So we're at the other end, look, and you get a far better view of the capping stones there, look. Key stones for the tunnel. And the other end, it's a bit overgrown. But yeah, here we go. Thurgoland uh, new tunnel on the upline. Time to go and find the old tunnel. See you in a bit. Alright, so here we are. Oh, looks a bit of a mess in that, does. So we'll manage it. Oh, are we going to get in? Is that too narrow? It's not as bad as Sherwood Rise, I know that. <laughs> oh, I think we're going to be alright here. Turn it out of that arse. We 
Yeah, I think we'll be alright. As you can see, look, this tunnel is far wider as it was built originally for a twin track. Um, obviously, reduced to a single track due to the electrification. And that's why it's a lot wider than the one next to it. It's a lot nicer as well. I mean, I mean to me, this is what it's all about. That tunnel that back there is far too modern. So uh, let's get this walkthrough done. This is about that when it changes. Repair work. Stone here. I don't know. This was there originally. It's just been put in afterwards, a bit relined or something, because because it collapses potentially. Like I say, I always say, if you know, you let me know in the comments. Would say definitely, it's a, some strengthening work's been done here. It's the blue brick, and it's a sticks out a bit further than the original stone look. Yeah, I'd say that's a reinforcement job. So I've got the original uh, brackets on the wall, looks like, for the... Uh, I think they were for the electrification. Looks a bit old, doesn't it? Not too sure, actually. We had to add the, the equipment somewhere for it, so... It's what remains of what looks like a mile post here or something, or a gradient post. Yeah, that, that's electrical cable, that, so... Yeah, I'd say it's definitely something to do with the... Uh, the, the workings for the... Railway. Armoured cable. Right, onwards and upwards. So we're back to stone belt. It's nice to see. No matter where it's gone into this, like I said earlier, the, the guys who built these places, the blood, the sweat, the tears that went into it. Not a lot of mist down there today, so happy days. Some more electrics here, look. There's a little bit of railway furniture lying around all over the place. Back towards the week if we came in, look. A bit of track chair down here. And I've got to say, I always say, I mean, this tunnel is in absolutely fantastic condition. It's bone dry, you know. You can actually see the other end already. So we've got around that little curve. Yeah, we've encountered a few of these of them so I've walking along. I mean, honestly, if you know what they are, let me know in the comments or send me an email. That like, you know, seems to be what people prefer to do these days. Hmm. Interesting. A bit more over here, like cable bearers. Is that actually a gradient piece? There. Or is that? I don't know. I feel like if we turn it over, it's going to have like numbers on it or something. No. <laughs> Essentially to do with signalling gear or the electrics again. No air shafts. Yeah, I mean the construction shafts must have been filled in on completion when they started lining it. Maybe because of water ingress, who knows. And if you look here, look, you'll see some nice Victorian plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think we have our sleeper. We always get one at least. Concrete look. Yeah, we always get at least one, don't we? You can see that. I'm just about to see the other end of it. About halfway through. It's not a very long tunnel, like I say, 924 yards. Good quick video today. What well, I say, a nice little tunnel tick. Well, I say the condition of the tunnel's fair. I mean, it's, it's really good. I mean, it's ended up to be close since 1983, so that was as uh, long as some of the other tunnels we go and see. 
I think uh, the, the youngest, well, the least time it's been closed tunnel I went to before this was Horbury Tunnel. There's nothing like the length of this. More equipment on the walls, more cables. It's like a bat box, that does. There's some light in it. <laughs> there it is, look. Okay, we're probably get some stills for you again, guys, today. Paste them onto the video as I normally do. Really show the tunnel up in its true splendour. Oh, would appear we have more sleepers. Spoiled today. Look, piled them up at the side there. Right, so we are at the other end. Here we go, look at all this cable that's been left up. Some of the entry points someone's put in there, look. A bit daft really, but you can just slide down that bank at the other end. Right. Right, so that's the Egerland Tunnel walkthrough done. Um, 924 yards, double tracked, uh, very nice, strange structure all the way through, bone dry, beautiful condition, testament again to the engineering that goes into these places. Uh, right, we're going to head back that way now, get you some stills, and see if we can find Romtical Viaduct. So we found Romtical Viaduct. Uh, it's uh, very well defended by the looks of it, don't like we're going to get down there, it's quite a long way down. Some more brickwork down there, so I'm assuming that's built by the railway. It's like a culvert actually, it's interesting. I feel like a good culvert. Alright, we're going to see if we can get a better view of it for you. We make our way down and get a good view of it for you. We usually do, don't we? It's not a bad view. I mean, through all these trees and that, we're going to try and work our way around the other side and see. Well, what a beautiful structure again, like all stone built. It's a beast. Magnificent. What a pair, it wasn't a culvert after all, it's just a bridge. Here, cow pads. What's where I'm standing now? Oh, 
can't really see it that well through the trees. So I'm gonna head down here, I think. We should get a clear view of it. I'll get one from under here, look. Give you some scope for just how monstrous this thing actually is. Daisy and Ermine tree. Back to the viaduct. See where the railway's built a retaining wall there, look. Stop landslides. Well, there we go, that's a far better view from Sickle Viaduct. And a very nice structure to finish the day with.